In this video, we are going to discuss the Hawkins-Simon conditions. In some cases, the input-output model equation solution may give output expressed by negative numbers. We have already solved some problems on the Leontief input-output model. In this particular problem, they have given the input coefficient matrix and the final demand vector. On solving the problem by Leontief input-output model equation, the output for the three industry are 24.84 units for the first industry, 20.68 units for the second industry, and 18.36 units for the third industry. However, in some cases, the solution to Leontief input-output model equation may yield a negative output. Let us assume that the solution to the above problem yield a negative output for the second industry. Such a solution is not desirable because in economics, output of a firm cannot be negative since a firm cannot produce negative output. A firm may choose to produce some amount of product or no product at all. It cannot produce a negative amount of a product. Say, it cannot produce negative 2 units of bread or car or any other product. If our solution to a problem gives negative outputs, it means that more than one unit of a product is used up in the production of every one unit of that product. This sentence implies that say in the production of one unit of steel, more than one unit of steel is used as input in the production process. Now this is not desirable for a firm. The solution of Leontief input output model equation will yield a non-negative output if and only if it satisfies certain conditions. Now these conditions are known as Hawkins-Simon conditions. The condition ensures that the Leontief input output model does not give negative numbers as a solution. To understand the Hawkins-Simon conditions, let us take an example of an n industries case. The Leontief matrix for n industries case is written in this manner. There are two conditions. Let us look at the first condition. The first condition says that the diagonal elements 1 minus a11, 1 minus a22, 1 minus ann should all be positive. In other words, elements a11, a22, ann should all be less than 1. Now, this will ensure that the production of one unit of output of any sector should use not more than one unit of its own output. As I've mentioned earlier, the production of one unit of steel should use not more than one unit of its own output that is steel. Now AIJ implies that unit of output of I8 industry is used in the production of output of J8 industry. A11 tells us the unit of output of the first commodity which is used as input in the production of first commodity itself or unit of output of the first industry which is used as input in the production in the first industry itself. A22 is the unit of output of the second commodity which is used as input in the production of the second commodity itself or unit of output of the second industry which is used as input in the second industry itself. ANN is the unit of output of the ANYAT industry which is used as input in the ANYAT industry itself. Now A11, A22, ANN should all be less than 1. If they are greater than 1, it implies that more than one unit of a commodity of a given industry is used in the production of that commodity itself, which is not economically viable. If A11 is greater than one, it implies that more than one unit of the first commodity is used in the production of the first commodity itself, which is not possible. If A22 is greater than one, it implies that more than one unit of the second commodity is used in the production of the second commodity itself, which is not possible. Similarly, if A and N is greater than 1, it implies that more than one unit of the N yet commodity is used in the production of N yet commodity itself, which is not possible. Therefore, if A11, A22, A and N is less than 1, if we subtract them from 1, the result should be positive. The second condition is that the determinant of the Leontief matrix must always be positive. These two conditions are called Hawkins 
Simon conditions. Let us discuss the economic interpretation of Hawkins Simon conditions. Let us consider two industries case. The Leontief matrix I minus A for two industries case can be written as. So this is our Leontief matrix for two industries case. Now the first condition requires that 1 minus A11 and 1 minus A22 that is the diagonal elements must be positive or A11 and A22 must be less than 1. Economically this implies that the amount of a commodity used in the production of a 100 rupees worth of that commodity must be less than 100 rupee. In case of the first commodity, the amount of the first commodity used in the production of 100 rupees worth of the first commodity must be less than 100 rupee. In case of the second commodity, the amount of the second commodity used in the production of 100 rupees worth of the second commodity must be less than 100 rupee. The second condition implies that its determinant must be positive. Simplifying further, we have since 1 minus A11, A22 is positive. Why they are positive? According to the first condition, both A11 and A22 are less than 1. Now removing 1 minus A11, A22, we have A11 plus A12, A21 is less than 1. Now economically, the first term A11 shows the direct use of the first commodity and the production of the first commodity itself. Now the above expression requires that the first term be less than 1. The second term shows the indirect use. A12, A21 shows the output of the first industry is used as input in the production of the second commodity, which is in turn used as input in the production of the first commodity. This expression shows the direct requirement of the first industry as well as the indirect requirement of the first industry in the production of the first commodity. The first term shows the direct use of the first commodity and the production of the first commodity itself. The second term shows the indirect use, that is, the output of the first industry is used as input in the second industry, which is in turn used as input in the production of the first commodity. So economically, the second condition implies that the direct and indirect requirement of any commodity to produce one unit of that commodity must also be less than one.